shots are all for the ladies. All you ladies that love the filet mignon, I'm going to show you exactly where that's at on the beef. And to give you an idea, it's going to come from somewhere in here. Anyway, let's go get that hind quarter on the table. Now that I got the flank out of the way to get to that ever-famous filet mignon, every lady's favorite, got to get in here and get some of this cleaned up. You've got the hanging tender. We're going to go ahead and get it out of the way. That'll be for another video. But I've got this kidney suet that's always resting underneath this loin. So again, I gotta get that kidney suet pulled out of there as well. You're gonna see that tenderloin that rests right up underneath that kidney suet, got to be real careful as we come in here. Just don't want to damage that. It's a bunch of good kidney suet fat. Always makes some amazing meat pies. You can see here that I've got the tenderloin. Comes up in. It's underneath this loin right here. So we're gonna go ahead and break this loin off of this round and then we're gonna get in and pull that filet mignon out of there. So you can see here this tenderloin resting up underneath this loin and attaching kind of to this round. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off here. I'm gonna start by kind of giving myself a little break right there. You can really see the butt end of this tender right up on top of that sirloin, the top sirloin. Wonder why it's so tender. It's in an area that is not used. tenderloin pulled out. Now I'm going to go ahead and get it trimmed up, cleaned up. We're going to make some filet mignon out of it. We like to get a good trim on all of our filets. So I'm going to come in here, take this piece right here out of there. Get it peeled off to the side. Just a little cap of fat. some of this little skin off. I like to get that silver skin off there. Again, I want to be really careful. Don't get too much into that meat. Get that skin pulled off without getting into the meat as much as I can. See how that just peels right off there. Got a good clean tenderloin. Now I'm gonna cut some filet mignons. This customer wants them about an inch and a quarter, so I'm just gonna square it up a little bit.